When you see effortless strokes from someone that can play pretty well, you may wonder what is the secret to that, how can I play more effortlessly? And today I want to show you a little secret or explain a little concept how I do it or how even someone better than me does it. And the secret is that you're not trying to hit the ball. So when we go to the beginner level, beginners are especially trying to hit the ball with the racket. So they're very much like this and then trying to hit the ball with the racket face, which in some way makes sense. But actually on a more advanced level, we are not trying to hit the ball. We just swing through the ball or what I call we sweep through the ball. So when the ball is coming and it's not a difficult ball. So let me just emphasize that, that this uh, way of hitting the ball is usually done in a warm up or when the ball is coming really nicely. But when you're struggling or running around the court and you're trying to control a difficult ball, then this is not really how you hit the ball. So it's just one of the ways of how you can approach hitting the ball. So sweeping the ball means that when the ball is coming, I'm not actually trying to hit the ball. I'm just swinging through the area that the ball occupies. So a little bit before contact, a little bit after the contact. So I just see this instead of a contact point, I have a contact zone. So when the ball is coming, I swing through the, the contact zone. I'm looking at the ball, but I'm not contracting at the ball. I'm not trying to hit the ball. I don't expect any collision. I just swing through the ball. And because the ball and the racket meet, the ball flies off my racket. And to better illustrate this concept of sweeping, sweeping the ball, let me show you a little clip, a little idea of what that means. So what's the idea behind sweeping the ball? Well, it's exactly the same idea when you're, as when you're sweeping with the broom. So if you're sweeping with the broom, you're doing movements like this. And when you have a little object, like this leaf, when I'm trying to sweep the leaf, I'm not actually trying to just like really hit the leaf. I can just sweep with the broom and the leaf will be taken. So I'm not actually trying to hit the leaf. I just sweep through the area and the leaf is swept. Yes, so it's exactly the same idea when you're hitting the ball. You're not actually hitting the ball. You're just sweeping through the larger area and the ball is somewhere in the middle. And when you do that fluidly and smoothly, the ball will just fly off your racket very effortlessly. So sweeping the ball works on a backhand ground stroke, on the forehand ground stroke. The sweeping the ball concept really works when you're serving. So instead of trying to hit the ball really hard and contracting and expecting a collision, just swing through the ball. In other words, sweep through the ball, let the ball fly off your racket. So while a volley is a more controlled shot, you can again apply this idea of sweeping through the ball instead of punching the ball and trying to hit the ball. You can just nicely sweep through the ball. But of course, when you get the right ball, so I can just nicely sweep through the ball and not really try to hit the ball. And you will see how effortlessly the ball flies off your racket. So try this idea and especially try to sweep a few things with your broom and then see if you can transfer that idea, that concept to your tennis strokes and then let me know how it goes.